Good morning, everyone. I hope you enjoyed and made the most of this event. But as soon as this one uh, finishes, we start working for the next one. So I wanted to announce that the next event, jointly with LACNOG, as Ariel mentioned, will be from uh, October 3rd to the 7th in Santa Cruz de la Sierra, Bolivia. So get your presentations ready for LACNOG. And I also wanted to invite Elias Solis in with his two hats, Elias Solis, because the event will be hosted by the ISOC Bolivia chapter, and Elia chairs it. And she is in the role as LACNOC manager. There's a land uh, where the sun sets on uh, uh, the rivers in this land. Laughter is born with solidary people, nice people, honest. From Santa Cruz, we export uh, joy. En esta tierra todo es posible, siembra, produce, cosecha y ríe. En Santa Cruz todo es posible, siembra, produce, cosecha y ríe. En Santa Cruz todo es posible, siembra, produce, cosecha y ríe. Santa Cruz, ni te imagina. Santa Cruz, you don't even imagine it. Well, thank you. In the name of the Internet Society, the uh, Bolivia chapter, we thank you for trusting in our country. And we are very excited to host such an important event. And even more at present, where the Internet uh, has uh, accelerated its growth in many indices, indexes. And, and uh, it is so relevant in our daily lab life. So in the name of LACNOC, we invite you to participate in our next event in Santa Cruz, Bolivia, an event that really highly representative that will uh, set the, the start of uh, the new era in LACNOC. So pay, um, send your proposals to the programs committee. We'll, we expect you with our open arms. Thank you. Thank you, Leah and Adriana, for uh, announcing LACNIC 38. Now I'm going to invite Alejandro Guzman, president of the board of LACNIC. Welcome, Alejandro. All right. Well, usually the uh, closures are very formal, but I don't want to be formal. What a joy to be uh, together with so many friends this week. And all the sister organizations on the internet and their leaders, you're doing a wonderful job. And it's been wonderful to see each other after such a long time where we couldn't see each other personally. I think that we all agree that this was a very intense week, but highly productive. Intense because we forgot how many things you had to do at a meeting. The interactions, the talks, we enjoyed them, but certainly we are sure that we are all feeling the weight of such a busy week. And we, there were many things that we did this week. Let me recap uh, what we did. We had three tutorials this week. We had 18. Uh, technical presentations in the FTL, and uh, they were excellent, um, all of them. And we saw how people were so interested uh, because we uh, we had an interactive audience and with many questions. We had a very interesting panel we're going through the four characteristics that made uh, the Internet so successful in our era. And we've seen how flexibility, adaptability, resilience, and scalability of the Internet have made it possible for it to become what it is today, and that we're all working in something related with, to, with the Internet at present. We also had a presentation by somebody who is part of uh, uh, women's leadership 
And uh, it, this is an initiative that we've had uh, for several years so to engage more people in the technical topics and the internet community. And it was very good to see this, uh, um, how they were active, women were active. We had a public policy forum, four proposals were presented with a good uh, participation. We also had a mix of remote and online audience. Um, we are not so used to that, and it's very good uh, to have uh, the people join us if you're not in the end. Sergio Rojas is the new coordinator of the Public Policy Forum. We also thanked Ariel for the excellent performance he had over the past years as a moderator of the Public Policy Forum. We're all aware that this dedicates quite a lot of dedication, of effort, patience, and many other characteristics. He is a, was a great moderator over that period of time. So thank you very much. And welcome, Sergio, to that role. We also had the LACNIC's General Assembly. This was an intense assembly and an important one because we had to catch up with three years in which we hadn't had the members' General Assembly. And maybe some of you didn't realize, but there were changes to the bylaws that are very important. Basically, LACNIC now has included things in the bylaws that are important, so that the organization is an organization focused on excellence for the future, Excel excellence, avoiding conflicts of interest, etc. In addition to that, the fact that the people who are in the board really respond to the concepts of LACNIC. We already, although there are rules that might state there are incompatibilities, we also have rules that if you're one of the commissions, you might com participate or not in other commissions of the board. We also had a space in LACNOG, which just concluded with a variety of most interesting topics and a great job done by the program committee. We also had technology time. This is space focused on internal things at LACNIC regarding support and many of the tools and options that LACNIC offers its members. We also had the awards of the FRIDA 2021 program. In addition to that, the main event we have the main event and also parallel events. We had the LAC Peering Forum. This has begun an become an important part of the week with many attendees and the opportunity of continuing with interconnection in the region. We had the first symposium and the ISPs in expansion meeting. This is an important part of the Latin American community. We have more and more ISPs in expanding in our region. This was the most interesting event that took together time together with the ISP meeting. The idea is to promote the development of the ISPs in the region. So now I'd like to express some of my thanks. My thanks in to Encali as a local co-host. Thank you to the people who are in charge of the tutorials for sharing your knowledge with the other people who participated in the tutorials this week. We know that this is a voluntary task, but done with a lot of effort and dedication. So thank you very much to the tutors of the tutorials, also the authors of the Public Policy Forum. Participation in the forum is very important for policy development. The authors comply with a very important function when proposing things. We might not agree, we might agree, but the important thing is that there are policies that have been considered for the development of the community. To the program committee of the LACNIC Technical Forum, we'd like to congratulate them on the good selection of the topics, the moderators of the PDP, as well as the people who participate in different ways with a lot of dedication. And in the backstage, there are a lot of people who do things so that we can be seated here enjoying the talks, the tutorials, and the panels. We have the interpreters who really do hard work, particularly those who speak very fast, like I do. <laughs> so thank you very much for that effort.
would also like to thank the transcribers, the technical experts, the people in charge of audiovisuals, who are in charge of streaming. And now that we have, have hybrid events, they have even more work to do. So thanks to all those who are in the backstage, as well as to all the volunteers in the different activities, because coordination itself requires a lot of work. And this is done on a voluntary basis. I'd like the sponsors, I'd like to thank LACNIC staff. What an outstanding job you do. The board is already always very at ease with the work you do. We know that while we are doing this, you're already considering in the upcoming two or three events. So preparing an event starts many years ahead of time, defining things, finding the resources, and we know you dedicate all your efforts to that. So thank you very much to LACNIC staff. Finally, let me remind you something. And because we want to do things better and better, there is a feedback survey that is always very useful. Please let us know what worked well, what did not work well, what things can be corrected, or things that worked properly but could be improved. So it doesn't take that long. Please answer the email. Please send us your feedback and let us know what you thought of this event and what you think we can take into account for the future. We strongly appreciate your feedback because the more the answers, the more information we can collect to know how to improve the events we organize. Finally, as was just announced, uh, next time we'll be visiting Leah's country will meet again in Santa Cruz. It will be thrilling to be there for the first time in LACNIC's history. I'm confident that we'll be enjoying many of the things that we saw in this video. We're looking forward for that event, LACNIC 38, LACNIC, LACNOG, sorry, 2022. This will be from the 3rd to the 7th of October. Please save the date so we can see you there. And after the closing this event, there is one further issue, which is Internet Colombia. This is a forum. This will have no remote broadcasting, but this will be in the Melendez Room 1.1, and there we'll see the specific challenges Colombia has in terms of the network operators. So finally, ah, it's going to be in this room. Okay. It's going to be in this same conference room. So if you wish to attend that meeting, you can stay on in this room. So that would be all. Thank you very much for your outstanding participation. I'd like to greet all those who have followed us remotely or in the local hubs in Haiti or in Argentina. Thank you, everyone, for your excellent participation. It was so good to see you once again, and we look forward to seeing you in LACNIC 38, LACNOC 2022 in Bolivia. Thank you very much, Alejandro. For me, it has been a pleasure to be with you. I'd like to thank our in-person and remote participants for joining us in LACNIC 37. I hope you made the best of the different networking options. We invite you to remain collected and see you in Santa Cruz, LACNIC 38, LACNOC 2022. That is all. Goodbye.